Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I'll do a little assembly and maintenance for you on this little guy. This is the um, Three Rivers Knives Thunderbird. So looking at it very closely here, uh, let's see, what's the status? Centering is pretty much perfect. Uh, no play, no none of that. Action's pretty solid. And actually, full disclosure, I've taken this guy down once before already when I first got it. And uh, so this is uh, actually going to be filmed shortly right before the review here. But uh, one thing you're noticing here is I'm taking off the clip screw. And you're probably thinking, well, Nick, why are you going to do that? Well, unfortunately, in order to get to the screws for the body, you need to take off the clip screw. That's not something I'm in love with. I'm going to be honest with you there. But um, at the same time, you know, it's that's life, I suppose. But... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop these guys loose as well. These two little T6 body screws hiding underneath the clip. And you can see that the hardware is hidden on the other side, which is very nice aesthetically speaking, but um, yeah. Doesn't do a whole lot for the uh, disassembling without removing the clip front, but that's okay. All right, pop the pivot out here. Nice pivot screw. And we will go ahead and put everything, or take everything apart here. There we go. Very tight tolerances overall. Nicely machined titanium. So this is an interesting thing, actually. On a lot of knives, uh, come here, titanium frame lock. Here we go. Um, on a lot of knives, like this guy, the ZT452, you can see here that the, uh, the, the there is this milled out section here. This is called the lock bar relief cut. This is an interesting, well, interesting. It's just a thing that's required to make a lock bar bend because otherwise it's just going to be a stiff piece of titanium. Um, what they've done here is they've actually made a hidden lock bar relief. From the top, you can't actually see the lock bar relief. But on the inside, you can see the lock bar has been milled out pretty substantially. So that's kind of neat. Um, honestly, it's a, it's a nice little detail there. And, uh, you know, it makes the, for a slightly better ergonomic situation. I, I just, I, I like that. I think it's a, they've done well there. Um, on the whole, otherwise, it's relatively... Well, it is what it is. Um, it's a titanium frame lock. Looks like steel lock bar insert, ceramic bearings, nice big thick pivot here. Nice machining overall. The internal stop pin is well fixed within there. I mean, there is titanium with the bearings directly on the titanium. This is, I've said this a couple of times, this is something that I... I a lot of people kind of freak out about it. I like, oh my God, it's right on the titanium. That's going to wear in over time, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, I've never had that happen. And I don't know that I've ever heard of anything of that happening, except hypothetically speaking. So, you know, it's one of those things I notice, but it's not one of those things I'm freaking out about. You know, for some people that is like, oh my God, deal breaker. And, you know, for me, that the, the, the deal's a little harder to break. Mind you, there are other ways to break the deal, but uh, yeah. Go ahead and pop this out. Just looking closer to make sure. Pivot is uh, nice. You can see it's an asymmetrical pivot, which is cool. Um, with a little ruby in it, so it's a gem. It's not a formal gem proclamation, except that this is a gem. Looks like a little ruby bearing or something like that. Go ahead and clean off these bearings. Shouldn't be too dirty. Like I said, I did a full disassembly when I got the guy, just to make sure, because I knew it was going to be a little while before I could film the actual disassembly. I just did one quickly. You know, that is the the one disadvantage um, to, and this is going to be, well, I've said a lot of weird and pretentious things, but one of the more pretentious and weird things I, I've said lately is that... Um, one of the disappointments of doing these disassembly videos, and by the way, okay, I'm sorry, I, I want to highlight one thing. Um, you can see here that the, the backspacer is milled out of the same piece of titanium as this scale, um, which is, it's not the case that there is a separate backspacer that I can pull off here. No, the entire back of it is the same chunk of metal, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, back to the ranch. What I was just saying there is that... Um, one of the disappointments of doing these disassemble and maintain videos, and I used to not do them, actually. If you look at my earlier videos, they didn't have a disassembly. This is something I didn't even think anybody would want to watch. Um, but then a bunch of people started requesting. Is like, okay, sure, why not? But anyways, I used to do a lot of this, you know, when I was getting ready to review a knife. I would do this just like sitting at my kitchen table. And I, I'd do it, you know, watching... 
I don't freaking know, some kind of, you know, the Top Gear or something like that. Um, and so, uh, or some other random thing with the fiancé. And as a result, you know, although it was a little bit more meditative, a little bit more relaxing, got to be quiet about it. They, you know, in this case, I'm, I'm bringing you along on the journey, and it's a fun journey, and I, I'm very, very lucky to be where I am, that I get to play with all these fun gear. Um, you know, this was sent to me directly from Three Rivers. It's actually the prototype that the owner has, triple uh, O-one here, a double O-one, that is. But uh, it is still a little bit weird to me that I, I, I you know, uh, I'm performing this disassembly rather than just doing it, which was a little bit more relaxing. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm putting a little bit of lubrication, maybe a way too much lubrication on the dent ball path, as well as on the dent ball, as well as on the, um, the, 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 the bearing there. And, uh, let's make sure I haven't left any parts out, because I'd hate to send it back to him and be like, hey, Nick, uh, what happened to that bearing? But, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Nice and tight construction here, the, the lanyard hole in the back here. Hope I remember to mention that in the review. Um, it's a nice little detail. And then we'll go ahead and put in the pivot here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put in the pivot. A little bit of the thread locker here. Not too much. Just a little. All right. Slide that into place. God, that's good threading. It's a weird thing to get bent out of shape about. I'll occasionally at work, like you know, some freaking machine. It was with a, a microphone stand recently. It was like, it wasn't just like a microphone stand you buy at a guitar store. This was like a, 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 a high precision sort of affair. And I was, you know, screwing something into it. And I, I, I said to the, just kind of out loud, to, 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 to the, and there was another jackass in the room there like, oh God, this is great threading. And this guy looks at me like I've got like 18 different heads and each one of them just burped. I mean, it was, it was not a, <laughs> it was not a great look, <laughs> but it was great because it was great threading. Like, what the hell are you talking about? It was good threading. There we go. That's nice. You hear that, by the way? That's probably the best part of this knife to me is this. That sound is just like, oh, yeah. Speaking of things that if I said them out loud at work, people would look at me like I had 18 heads. Right there. All righty. So I want to go ahead and drop this backspace or uh, the, the, this clip into place. And what you can see here is that there is a little kind of uh, uh, an indentation that it sits in so that the clip will not be tempted to rotate even though it's only held in by the one screw. This is naturally a good design. Um because it means you've got a one-screw clip that doesn't move around, shift around, shimmy, shake, etc. Clip shimmy is, you know, always a... Maybe the clip cha-cha, clip tango. Anyways, moving along. There we go. Zero play. Centering is... If not perfect, close enough. And this little tiny flip it tab by the way, the detent is just dialed in right. Even with a very strong lock bar tension, at least it feels that way to me, this thing deploys reliably. Oh, that sound. All righty. Anyways, so there you go. This is the um, the, the, the Three Rivers um, Thunderbird, and I hope that this was interesting to you and that uh, you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.